Everybody wants to know, can chat GPT-4 generate images? The answer is, not only can it generate images, it generates some of the most amazing images that you've ever seen in your life. It's Robbie Cornelius with Web Asset Group, the number one platform that teaches you how to master your mind and make money online. Check out the resources in the bottom of this video to get more info, but let's dive right into it. Chat GPT, you've been hearing me talk about this over and over again for the past couple of days, just why you're subscribing to the channel because you love hearing me talk about ChatGPT4. I am blown away. So I got to go ahead and say, I have not done the research to know whether or not everyone who has ChatGPT4 has access to the image generator yet. I noticed it a few days ago, okay? So what I did is when I logged on to ChatGPT, I'm like, oh my God, what is this Dolly 3? I clicked on ChatGPT4 and went down select right here where it says dolly three if you don't have it figure out how you can grab it and those of you who know me know that i like to talk to chat gpt i don't type into chat gpt that takes too long i like to just talk to it using my voice and i to do that i have this uh voice control for chat gpt if you just google voice control for chat gpt you're going to come across this first one right here. And all you have to do is click it to, to activate it, to put it in your Google Chrome extension. And then once you get it, you're just going to pin it and that's going to give you access to this. OK, so that's what I use to talk, use my voice to talk to chat GPT. And simply all I'm going to do is click right here. Now, if you click right here and hit spacebar, the 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 audio uh speaking to chat gpt feature is not going to work so what you want to do is want to click on the outside of chat gpt um the the prompt box here click on the outside and then hit spacebar one time and then you can start talking to it now the question is what do we want to create using the power of chat gpt4 okay so notice i look to the right and I noticed a bag of dog food on, sitting on my counter. I'm at, I'm at the kitchen table here. And sitting on my counter is a bag of dog food. And I'm just going to tell ChatGPT, hit spacebar. Highly detailed image of a bag of dog food that has come to life and has decided to terrorize a community. It turned into a zombie. Make the images very high quality and give it ultra vibrant colors make all the colors pop give it 8k clarity and make the images super super crispy let's see now chat gpt is a little sensitive some some of the verbiage that i use in the past has caused it to say that i violated its policy guidelines so hopefully nothing that i said there is going to do that uh, hopefully it's going to create some really good images of a bag of dog food that's turned into a zombie. I can only imagine what this is going to look like. Let's see. Let's see. And as you see here, it's given us four different images. These are four boxes and all four boxes are going to be filled with different images that are inspired by the original prompt that I gave it. And notice that ChatGPT has changed the prompt. You know, if I scroll up, you'll see my original prompt and it made it into, holy cow, look at that. Oh my God, a bag, the dog, the bag of dog food. Look at that. That's crazy. So now let me go here. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Look at the person laying on the ground right there. What kind of dog is this right here? This is. Oh my God, this is funny. Let's look at this. <laughs> that one looks like this bag of dog food is taking a, you know what? <laughs> the bag of dog food is just is dumping. It, it, unlike the other videos, everybody is running towards this bag of dog food rather than running away from it. This is this is pretty wild. And then now we got this one. Oh, this one. <laughs> 
look at all the dogs. To, what? No, this is hilarious. Okay. All right. That's the bag of dog food. So now let's do something. Let's, you know, it's about how far can your imagination go? So <clears throat> I got, I'm looking at an iPhone right now. The iPhone is in front of me. So I'm going to say, create a picture of a super detailed iPhone. Make it come to life. Give it personality. Give it eyes. Give it hair. Make it wear a suit and tie with dress shoes and put it inside of a luxury home surrounded by the most luxurious items possible. I want to see diamonds and gold. Make the images pop. Make the colors super vivid and keep the images super detailed. And also make the iPhone smoke a cigar. And I know you're like, Robbie, what are you talking about? (laughs) So this is, I just want to be all outside the box right now, just to show you what type of stuff that you can create, because you can create anything, okay, as long as you don't get a community, okay, here we go. So look, it won't, look, you know, violate the content policy, probably because I said cigar. Okay, so now what I'll do is say, um... Regenerate that prompt, but leave out the cigar. So let's see if that does it. Let's see if that does it. Let's see. And, you know, I think this is a bug that is going on right now um, with this software. I don't think we're actually... Yeah, see, it left out the cigar this time, and it's still showing... That I violated. So what I usually have to do is go back over to Chat GPT, set up another, um, give it a new, um, a new chat, and then do it all over again. Um, I'm going to stay away from that topic right now. So let's do something else. What else can we create? Okay. And in another video, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use this practically for a business and create, you, you know, using it to make money and things of that nature. I want to show you that as well. So let's do this. Create a super vivid and highly detailed, realistic image of a man fishing for sharks. He pulls the shark out of the water, but the shark is a zombie ready to attack. But the man has a surprisingly happy look on his face. He has a beard. He's grinning. He's dressed very well, but he has holes in his shoe. I don't know where I was going with that. (laughs) I just want to see how far outside of the box and how specific we can be. I love that ChatGPT, you know, takes your prompt and, you know, turns it into something that it thinks is better. I love that. I love that. Because with MidJourney and all those other platforms, maybe they've updated since I last uh, used them. But you had to be very specific about the prompt and blah, blah, blah. But you don't have to be very specific with ChatGPT, and it'll still give you some really good images. But the more specific you are, the more uh, it uses its imagination to give you the best images possible. (laughs) Look at this. What in the world? Look at that. That is freaking awesome. How did it even just come up with that? Look at that. And look at this one. He's like, that one's a little weird because the shark is like coming out of the ground. I think this one might be my favorite one. He's like, he's been bitten and everything, right? But he's like super happy. He's like, I got a shark, everybody. You got a shark. All right, so let's create some more. Here's another thing I want to do. I want to do this. I want to, I want to, let's see what's trending in the world today, okay? I want to see what's trending. And we're going to create some images based off of 
things that are trending. Right now I'm using um, Google Trends, but I have a processor on top of it called Glimpse. It's a really good software that gives you more detail as to what people are searching for on Google. Um, so now let's do this. Gummies, discover trending topics. I don't want to do that. Hmm. Hmm. I want to do a uh, mindset. Let's see something here. Mindset, how to change your mindset. Okay. I want to do this. Super detailed image of a motivational speaker standing on stage teaching people about the power of their mind. He has the crowd excited. There's money falling from this guy. There's a lot of happy people in the audience. I don't know where I'm going. And make the images very highly detailed and super vivid. Give it 8K clarity. I don't know where I was going with that prompt. <laughs> I got kind of I got kind of thrown off with that prompt right there. But let's see here. In my next video, you want to check it out on YouTube. I'm going to show you how to use this to, to make some money as well. We're going to use this to make some money. Use this to make some cash. Okay, let's see what it gives it. Let's see what it gives it. Using ChatGPT. Look at that. Okay, look at that. And you know what's so amazing about this is that look at all the different expressions on the, their faces. Look at this. Wow. Look at that. Okay. These are pretty. <laughs> these are pretty awesome, man. That, that guy right there kind of looks like Grant Cardone in the counter. All right, all right, cool, cool. All right, so that's all for this video. As you see, yes, you can use ChatGPT to create images. There you have it, all right? It's Robbie Quinelli. It's like the YouTube channel. Comment, subscribe, and make sure you join the Mastermind. Link is in the description of this video. Talk to you soon.